Thank you, Sarah, for sitting down with me. Yeah, thank you for having me. Now, you're the new serial specialist for the government of Saskatchewan. How long have you been in the position now? Yeah, so I started that position in March 2022, so just coming up one full year now. One year. What made you want to to, to, to do that? Where, how, where were you before and how did you make that transition? Yeah, so uh, before entering my current role, I was with the Ministry of Agriculture. So I was in extension. So that was more general for all crops. Um, so I wanted to move into the cereal position. Um, it opened up and uh, just my background fit it quite well. I think um, my master's degree was in semi-dwarfing wheat and I had a really uh, strong interest in that area. And then of course the cereals are just so important for the province of Saskatchewan and Western Canada as a whole. So I thought it was a really good opportunity to be a part of that. And then also just being with the ministry prior, I understood that this role also did include um, some kind of genetic knowledge. So review of research as well as um, involvement in the regional variety trial. So that was kind of that extra, extra pull that I wanted to be a part of. I'm going to ask you about the variety trials in a moment, but what's your, what's your background? Have you, did you grow up on a farm? Have you been in agriculture for a long time? Yeah, so I did grow up on a farm in northeastern Saskatchewan, uh, north of a little town town called uh, Garrick. So kind of right near the forest border of where you can grow crops in the province. Uh, so my parents still farm there on a grain farm, as well as my brother. Um, Right out of high school, I honestly didn't know if I wanted to go directly into agriculture. Um, I liked always the sciences and biology and knew I wanted to go to school. So I actually started getting a biotechnology diploma. So that was in Saskatoon. Uh, that was a lot of kind of molecular microbiology uh, components. And then after doing that, I realized even kind of in that industry, how important agriculture was for the province. So I kind of moved on. I got a ag uh, agronomy degree from the US and then I went into my master's program. So I got a master's in plant science in uh, the wheat breeding program there. So honestly, it kind of involved uh, evolved over time. So I do have that farming background and that kind of always pulled me in, but um, kind of evolved into a career for me. And how old are you now, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I'm 31, just as of two weeks ago, actually. 31. I was once 31. <laughs> Now, you mentioned you coordinate the variety trials for Saskatchewan. Now, we're here at PGDC in Banff, Prairie Green Development Committee, which is where lines are put forward to be recommended for registration to the government. And so needless to say, this meeting is very important for the variety trials because all those varieties that are trialed, this is where they begin as, as lines that eventually go on to become varieties. What's the value of coming to a meeting like this? I understand this is your first PGDC meeting. What is the, the value of being here, interacting with the breeders and, 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 and the, the agronomists, different seed companies, etc.? Yeah, so I think there's a lot of value from kind of different angles. Um, so I do coordinate the regional variety trials, uh, as you mentioned, for cereal crops, uh, fall rye and flax. Um, so all those crops are part of the recommending committees here. Um, so a, a big part of it, honestly, is just that net networking. Um, I've been in this role almost a year now. I've talked to a lot of people over email, um, maybe over Teams or, or some in-person meetings now. So just getting to meet those people face to face and have those conversations. And then, as you mentioned, the, these are, lines are going towards uh, registration potentially. Um, so our call for varieties for ent entries to be entered into the Saskatchewan Regional Variety Trials is currently going on. Um, so a lot of these lines, if they do end up being recommended for registration, they will be entered into the Regional Variety Trials. So um, you kind of get to see, I guess, a, a little sneak peek of, peek of what might be coming in the next year. So and then also just as a cereal specialist, I, it's really valuable um, to kind of know what uh, potential varieties might be coming out for farmers in Saskatchewan and, and maybe have some input as well on what's important for our province. Yeah, and speaking about the future of the trials, you mentioned exciting things coming in the future. And I know Saskatchewan's variety trials have, have evolved over the years in terms of how they're funded and coordinated, et cetera. And, and what's, what's coming down the pipe for, for the future that excites you in terms of those trials? Uh, yeah, so... Um, 
So I coordinate, as I mentioned, like the spring cereals, uh, flax and fall rye. Um, so over the last, well, actually since last year, I guess, so this is our second year, we have been collaborating with um, Alberta and Manitoba on the flax trials. Um, a lot of those flax varieties are um, from the CDC now, as that's the main breeding program. So it just helps streamline um, streamline that work. Um, another recent addition to our regional variety trials is the annual forages. Um, so we have lines of uh, wheat, barley, oats, and triticale that can be entered. Um, so that's just kind of something uh, new in, in recent years. And then also just at these meetings, seeing what lines are coming um, up, if there's any new um, improvements in agronomy or disease or quality packages, it's just kind of neat to see that and and get those, I guess, lines into our trials so they are able to be published in the seed guide and then, yeah, available for farmers at, at some point. So that's pretty exciting as well. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to it, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, this is my first year being at the PGDC meetings and it's really interesting to see how that whole process works. It's, it's really cool to be a part of this industry. Thank you for sitting down with me. Yeah, thank you for having me.